Well, tonight in our special series of reports, Homeless Corpus Christi crisis on our streets, we look at something you don't hear about very much. That's right. We're talking about young people, school age, who are living on the streets. And tonight, our Chris 6 News reporter Chelsea Torres shows us how the Corpus Christi Independent School District is helping homeless students. If you have a child who attends CCISD, you may not realize that a student in your child's class could be homeless. Fortunately for many homeless students who do not have a permanent home, the school district has organizations that provide them with anything they may need. In talking to students, they don't see themselves as homeless because that they see it as just a, this is just our lifestyle. This is our life. This is all, this is a, what we know. Dr. Bruce Wilson has been the principal at Roy Miller High School for two years. He says while working in CCISD, he has come across numerous students that are categorized as homeless. They're happy on the surface. Everything is fine, fine, fine. You do that follow-up meeting with them, then you start getting a little bit more about this is what's going on, these are my challenges. All students within CCISD must fill out a student residency questionnaire. This helps the district know of their housing situation. The homeless students are not just those who are staying in the shelters. There are those who are living in the motels or hotels around here. There are those whose families are doubled up with others. Dr. Wilson introduced us to Isaac, a 19 year old senior who has looked to the school for help. The district has asked us not to show his face. At some times I was fortunate, like really fortunate, you know, to, you know, to have a place to stay. And then at some times I was like, you know, very unfortunate, you know, I had to like go through a little bit of suffering and go through like, you know, the point where like there's no Christmas. It won't be able to, you know, there won't be able to be uh, Christmas or it won't be able to be a Halloween or stuff like that. Or, or there won't be able to be a moment of time when we're, we're together because we're too busy, you know, moving around or basically struggling. Isaac says most of his life he has moved around and currently is staying with a friend. I've only been listening, living with them for about a week now. More happy now, you know, more, you know, I guess I want to say satisfied, satisfied, but I'm, I'm more, you know, kind of on the good side than, you know, the bad side now. Isaac says if there's one place that he was able to get what he needed, it was at school, specifically through community and schools. An agency that provides a mentor such as David Drake and essentials that any child may need. I, I, basically everything, you know, I have counselors who help me, you know, when I'm feeling down or, you know, I'm not feeling mentally right. And I have Mr. Drake, you know, sometimes when, you know, maybe I, I don't have a toothbrush, maybe, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that, you know, or something, I just don't have a sweater or a coat, you know, he can provide for that. So for our unaccompanied youth that we have that don't have that moral support at home because they don't have parents that are taking care of them, community in schools becomes that parent for them. Susanna Majors is the homeless liaison within CCISD. She says CCISD partners with dozens of organizations and agencies that provide services for homeless and unaccompanied youth. In October, we usually have 800 children. By uh, the end of May, we've already, we normally will identify 1,800 children. The Coastal Bend Food Bank and communities and schools are just a few of the organizations that provide the essentials for these students. Whether it be providing them food, toiletries, school supplies, backpacks, we'll do that for unaccompanied youth. On the surface, CCISD provides what these children need, but sometimes what they want is something so simple. I heard mostly was, I just want somebody to listen to me. I just want someone to talk to that will listen about things I'm dealing with at home, that's all I want. Just go somebody that, that's, that's able to, you know, help you and able, you know, to know that, you know, you're not alone and that, you know, no matter what, that you're always going to have somebody. Isaac will graduate later on this year and although he is not 100% sure on his career choice, he says he hopes to go to college and looks forward to learning everything he possibly can. It's a good attitude to have. Thank you, Chelsea. And under state law, all Texas school districts are required to provide services for homeless students.